Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today is Motivational Monday, so sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back, and today I'm wearing Ellen Villa Spring High in Snow Mix. So we're going to look at Psalm 44, 3 today, and it reads like this. For they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword, nor did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance because you favored them. When we fight a battle and we get into a confrontation with the enemy, whether it's a spiritual battle or sometimes it can actually be a battle of words or a battle of wits, a battle of wills with a physical person, we need to clearly keep in mind who our defender is. Someone very wise once said this to me, if you're right, you don't need a defense. If you're wrong, you have none. So if we're right and we're walking with God and we are trying our best to develop our relationship with him day by day, we really don't need anyone else to defend us other than the Lord God. And I have learned over the years that he actually will defend us. My dad used to have a saying and it was just simple. It was hide behind a bush and watch and the truth will be revealed. A lot of times when I'm tempted to act on my own, I will think about that. I will think about what my dad said about just wait and see, basically. Hide behind a bush and watch. You can sometimes just watch circumstances unfold before you. And before you even have to act, you'll know exactly what to do and you won't even have to act. That is a lot of times the Lord defending us. The Lord stepping in so that we don't have to. And if we put our faith and trust in him and realize that he is the one who saves us, he is the one who fights on our behalf, he is the one who takes us up in his mighty arms and he wields that sword for us. Now, yes, we have been given the sword of the spirit and things of that nature. We have been given spiritual armor to fight. The word instructs us, that the Lord goes before us. He is our rear guard. Now, what does that mean? That means he not only goes in front, but he guards us from behind. So whatever plot that the enemy has against us, God is not surprised. He is right there in the forefront of the battle, helping us, showing us which tactics to use to defeat the enemy. Listen, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you guys with all my heart. Links to everything are in the description box. God bless you. Maranatha, folks. Bye-bye.